Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to connect to a shared printer that is not a network printer or wireless printer. So therefore you're connecting through another computer. So we have this Windows 10 computer that has the printer installed via USB. And then we have this Windows 11 computer that we're going to connect to it with. And so we're going to be hosting it on the Windows 10 computer as a shared computer and not going, you know, through the network to connect to it as a network printer or a wireless printer. All right, so the first thing we're going to do on the computer here is share it. Actually, it's already shared, but let's just go through the steps here. If you go to the printer properties, sharing, then you share this printer, you name it whatever you want, and then this is usually checked by default. So now the catch, when you connect to this printer from the other printer or the other computer, uh, it's going to ask you for a name and password of the host computer. So if you don't have that, or you want to have other people be able to connect to this host computer that's sharing the printer, you could turn that off. So when you share the printer, at least in Windows 10, you'll have this network and sharing center. And if you're on Windows 11, you could just, um, I'm not sure if this dialog box is the same or not, but if not, you could just go to the network sharing center in Windows 11. And so you want to go to change advanced sharing settings. And you'll notice down here, there's password protected sharing. So you could turn this off. So therefore, when you access shared folders or shared printers on this computer, it's not going to ask for a name and password. So it's kind of a you know security thing, but if it's just a local network, network or home network and you're not worried about it, then it's no big deal. And then, of course, you want to make sure you have your uh, file and printer sharing turned on as well. And then you save changes. This is already set up that way. So now that that's configured, we'll go over to this Windows 11 computer, go to the settings. Bluetooth and devices, printers and scanners. Then we can click on add device. And you're going to get this, most likely my printer wasn't listed unless you have some other wireless printers that it's going to find. So you want to just click on add manually anyways. So now we're going to do select a shared printer by name, and we're going to put in the name of the hosting computer, which is Win10. And if you don't know your uh, computer name, you could go to you know this PC and check it from there, or you could just open up a command prompt and go host name, and that'll tell you that right there. So you don't have to type in the whole printer name. You can if you know it, but this one's kind of long, so I'm just going to type in slash slash Win10, then click on browse. And that'll find the, the uh, shared computer here, and this will actually show other shared devices as well, since we just put the name of the computer and not necessarily the printer, too. So this has two shared printers, so we're going to connect to this one here. So right at this step, if you didn't have that option in your network and sharing center to not prompt for a username, then you'd be asked for the password name and password of an account on the hosting computer to continue. So like I said, that's fine if you want to do it that way and you know the name and password. But if you don't want to, or if you're going to have multiple people connect to the shared printer, you could do it this way. Okay, so it's been installed. Click on Next. Print a test page if we want. Click on Finish. And now we have this printer, HP LaserJet Pro, on Win10. So once again, just you know, share your printer from the host. under sharing and like I said then go to this network and sharing center and if you don't have that link in your Windows 11 you could still go to network and sharing center on Windows 11 just do a search for it then change advanced settings make sure this uh, option at the bottom here for turn off password protected sharing and I think that's under under all networks it's good to go and then just make sure your turn on file and printer sharing is set up too and then go to your Windows 11 computer, or you could do Windows 10, add the printer, add it manually, slash slash host name, find the printer, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.